Judge Caprio most angry moments on Caught in Providence. Judge Caprio is a very patient judge who is always willing to have some empathy. However, some people have taken advantage of this and made Judge Caprio angry. The answer to your question is, I can do anything. Okay. That's not the question. The question is whether I will. You haven't shown you, you haven't shown much of an effort here. David Norton's motor vehicle was towed, and it turns out he already had over 29 unpaid parking tickets, which totaled him a whopping $1,090 in fees. Judge Caprio got upset when he found out Norton didn't pay the entirety of his fine. He never paid not one penny, not one penny of the remaining balance. You never paid. Then you change your registration. You got a different registration. Figured, how could they ever know it's me? So you got a different registration. Mr. Norton was caught red handed as he changed his registration to attempt to escape the tickets. On his new registration, he still got nine more parking tickets, and Judge Caprio confronted him on this and got extremely angry. Well, there's not, there's not much wiggle room for you here because you've showed complete and total disregard for this court. You came in, you paid the 300, you said, forget those guys, I'm from Massachusetts. Right? I don't come to get there that often, I'll change the registration, and I'm skating free. Judge Caprio got extremely angry and found it disrespectful that Mr. Horton showed no regard for his parking tickets and simply expected to get away with it. Mr. Horton then asked a question that made Judge Caprio furious. What about the interest? Can you do anything with that? There's a lot of interest on them. The answer to your question is, I can do anything. Okay. Despite all the disrespect, Judge Caprio gave Mr. Horton an extremely fair payment plan to help him pay his tickets. However, Judge Caprio gave Mr. Horton a very stern warning before he left. If you don't pay it and you ever come back again, I'll waive nothing. I'm going to, all the penalties that I waived, I'll put back on. Okay. You know, I really don't want to persecute you. Maria Lopez was in a really troubled situation. Her son drove her car and got multiple parking tickets under her vehicle. Judge Caprio then got frustrated at Miss Lopez for letting this happen in the first place. You know something? I'm, I'm beginning, I will pay for my ticket. I'm beginning to find out why your son does this because you because you you make no, excuses for him. I will pay her. my I will pay for my. I understand ticket. that. But you give me the oh my son, you know. What made things even worse was that Miss Lopez's son was 21 years of age when he got the ticket, and currently has a job. But Miss Lopez still refused to let her son pay for the ticket. Judge Caprio then had some words for her. Now, who drives this car? You or your son? My son takes it from the driveway and puts it. How old is your son? Well, then he was 21, full of vin and vin vinegar, and he still is. He's 24. He's 24 years old. Does he work? Yes. Judge Caprio felt like Miss Lopez needed to put her foot down and stop letting her son take her car whenever he pleases. Judge Caprio then gave Miss Lopez some harsh advice that she did not like. Give him some responsibility. Give him some resp you know how you give him some responsibility? You take the keys to the car and say, okay, you're independent. My husband passed away seven years ago and life has not been easy. This caused Miss Lopez to break down and she revealed that her husband passed away seven years prior to the case and caused her family dynamic to completely shift. She was truly suffering. So I, I understand that. So I know it's personal, right? How are you coping with it, okay? <laughs> Not well. Not well. Mr. Panera, Judge Caprio was in disbelief as he read his case out loud. Mr. Panera had multiple chances to prevent this, but kept making the wrong decisions. Mr. Panera revealed he was under the influence of alcohol, 
And Judge Caprio said this. I join a long list of people who also drink and get stupid, among other things, in addition to stupidity. Judge Caprio told Mr. Panera that he had quote unquote alcoholic muscles during this incident and called him out for acting immature and in a way that could harm himself and others around him. Mr. Panera then said this. I do apologize for my behavior. Inspector Quinn, what's your recommendation in this? Your Honor, this was a very He's very contrite. It's a non-event. 